Come on in, folks. You don't want to miss this show. Oh, nice. We almost sold out the front row again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here today. My name is Pat Mack. I am part of the cooking team, Mack and the Big Cheese. Pat and I are a great combination. We are going to be doing 20 shows this week. People love to come out and see our show. They were excited. Oh, they're fans of ours. Come and see the funniest camp cooking show in the world, Mack and the Big Cheese, in five minutes. They're all coming. Mike is your typical East Coast city boy. Pat thinks he's invaluable to the show. He can be replaced. Trust me. Look at me. I could do a lot better than Shrek over here, don't okay? yeah. Who's funnier? Wow, that one's easy. Me. I don't even think Pat's funny. Mike doesn't like people at all. Period. He doesn't like anybody. Doesn't he kind of look like uh, Newt Gingrich a little bit? The only difference is his wife does not want to be monogamous. Now, folks, this is good to be here. Shut up, Pat. The show that I've created um, makes him shine in his element, which is telling jokes to geezers. How long has that been in there? Six, Six weeks. Folks. Six, Six weeks. weeks, okay. Yeah, Might be some salmonella, but we don't care because we're not eating this crap. You guys are. Now listen. Pat and I first met in uh, Houston, Texas in open mic. Eight years later, and we're on the road working this full time, and uh, this has been a ride. I always like to wake up early, get my coffee started, and keep myself in a good mood. Early waking up sucks. I can't sleep when I'm on the road. Yeah, because you ate 12 burgers before you went to bed that night. You felt so big. It's gonna be a good day, my friend. It's gonna be a great day. His optimism pisses me off. I get here, set up, and do all the work. Maybe that wasn't a bright idea. Oh, if the health department saw us now, it would not be good. Sometimes when we're trying to lure people into our tent, we're like, free food, and like, <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, we charge then. How about that, d I almost didn't see your head, it's camouflaged. Good to be here. <laughs> Don't turn your back on me, sir. <laughs> free food, guys. She's a pretty lady, way out of your league, sir. We just kind of razz people when they come through, because that's what we do best. Every time you pitch somebody something, they always like ignore you. But when you say, how about a free hug, they're always like, what? Free hugs, you need a hug. Get over here. <laughs> I am awfully weirded out right now. Uh, I think you took it a little too far there, champ. Can you guys smell that coming off the grill? Uh, yeah. My back hurts. That's how much I carry Mike when it comes to cooking. Hands down, I'm the better cook. I do the cooking. I don't make any mistakes. Oh, yeah. That's burnt. Did you see that chicken sausage? Burnt to a crisp. <laughs> that sucks at cooking. <sighs> but it still was... Good, if you don't mind tire. I mean, tire's good. To see Pat struggle like that, it really brought me a little bit of joy. He will not clean a single thing. As you get older, you learn to do less and less amount of work. I'm too good for that. I have other people. You have other people? That's me, jackass. And he still hasn't done the dishes. Why don't you go back over there and go boil some yeah, water, you idiot. Get your filthy hands off of me. Folks, this is the case possible. We just cooked up live right from scratch. Looks pretty good. Smells good. Ooh, I'm sorry. Ha ha, I got you, didn't I? I like to do that. I like to torture old ladies. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some drinks with these ladies. And pass out one of the RVs. Oh, <laughs> From the looks of this audience, none of you will ever enjoy life. Okay. I paused. I waited. They weren't getting yeah, the jokes. Right. We know the jokes work. That's why we're doing them. We had a lot of people, and they weren't laughing. There is nothing worse than that. Some are going to love you. Some are going to hate you. You just brush it off like dandruff and you move on to the next one. We have way more good shows than we do have bad shows. I love this job. There's nothing more fun than watching people eat and laugh because of us. Give yourselves a big hand for coming out here today, ladies and gentlemen. Come on up here, grab some free food. And don't forget to stop and say hi to Mike and I and I will ignore you people. All right, thanks for coming out.